trying to press the screen and over there in the corner and I hit go live. <laughs> Gene thinks I got cooties or something. He's like all the way at the other end of the couch. That's a comfortable corner. We are- Man, this couch is <laughs> ridiculously comfortable. There's like a hot spot right, right there. I'll scoot up a little bit. All right. So what's up, y'all? I'm going to let the view count build for a second. We're here at Bienville Plan- Plantation. We are here at Bienville Plantation. We are just finishing up the kayak bass fishing seminar. Had a great time. Had a smaller group this time so we could be a little more agile, uh, a little more uh, one-on-one, a little more time on the water. It was a great time. We had better weather. Didn't catch the Giants. They were there. We saw them. I hooked one and broke it off. The first day that was easily easily seven or eight, I, I lost one. The second day that was definitely double digits. You've been losing double digits all year. What's up with I, that? I don't know, man. I got a lead horseshoe in my butt. <laughs> side I just don't look them. I don't catch them. So then I lost one this morning, about eight pounds. And then I finally figured out I had something going on with my leader material. It was the same rod. So I changed the leader material out and then I started smashing them after that. So. I'll have a video up for you guys real soon. I'm pretty sure Gene shot a video from the uh, from the uh, deal. Anyway, it'll be a minute um, before I get it up though, because I got a few. Yeah, to go to it'll it'll be a minute. Yeah, so, so. y'all uh, put Gene in your prayers. He just uh, lost his dad to a rough deal with uh, Parkinson's. Parkinson's. So yep. keep that guy in your prayers and his family. Um, so we are gonna be back here in a little over a month for the 10 uh the 10 is going to be interesting this year i'm going to announce the 10 later tonight on um facebook live we got a five-way tie for first place that means the angler of the year will also be decided at the 10 on bienville uh, stay tuned for the announcement for bienville bassin the bienville bassin uh, event will be run simultaneous with the 10. That means that you can come fish here. Uh, it's not for Angler of the Year points. It's not for national championship bursts. It's basically a great opportunity to come fish an amazing fishery like Bienville Plantation for $200 for two days and one day of pre-paddling. You don't get to fish. You just get to pre-paddle that day. And we don't want to sore lip all the fish for tournament day. We're going to be shooting an episode of Kayak Bassin TV, the TV show for that. So, you know, if you catch a big fish, you'll end up in the show. Uh, we're going to do some commentary. This year, we're flipping the script. Uh, last year, let me level this a little bit. Yeah. So, last year, the 10 fished the lake behind the lodge, Purvis Lake. Yep. And then the other lake over uh, with all the lily pads and grass uh, called Thomas Lake. And then the folks fishing Bienville Bassin fished. Lake 14, which is the biggest lake on the property, 1,400 acres with over 1,000 miles of shoreline in the lake. This year, we're flipping it. If you come to fish Bienville Bassin, you're going to fish Purvis and Thomas, and the 10 guys are going to fish the 1,400-acre lake. That'd be awesome. Because what happened is there was a bunch of people last year that said, oh, my God, those guys that were fishing in the 10 got to fish in the good water, and we got the lake that they took all the big fish out of. No. So we're <laughs> switching it around, baby. They don't know that they got to fish in the legendary. I know. <laughs> so we're switching it around. Um, but here's what's going to happen. The, the Angler of the Year will be decided at that event. Uh, like I said, I'll be announcing that later tonight. So it's guaranteed $10,000 first place. And then Angler of the Year gets $5,000. So if the Angler of the Year happens to win it, or if one of those top five guys wins it, they're going to take on $15,000. If somebody wins it that's not in the top five, th- that five-way tie, and that guy wins Angler of the Year, then the first place person will get $10,000, and whatever place the Angler of the, the highest person in that five-way tie will be the Angler of the Year. So they'll win $5,000. Um, it's going to be a good event. It's going to be fun. We're going to do another show about it. Um, before I go too crazy, y'all go watch my video on where your PFD that I just released. Lots of people chime in about it, ask me questions about it, have kind of all, you know, man, you got to say something about PFDs. Yeah. I finally decided to tell you what I think. So go check that video out. I just watched it the other day. Go watch all his videos. 
Uh, and then when you can, give the videos a big thumbs up, leave a comment. All of that engagement and interaction. Subscribe, means, hit the little bell. Sub subscribe means a lot to us, takes a little bit of effort from you, and then it goes a long way for helping us grow the channel. So that being said, um, I got to spend my first two full days fishing hard from the new um, production version of the Bonafide SS-127. And I'm in love. I can't wait to get a video together so I can show you guys that that kayak. If you have watched my Instagram page or Facebook, you've probably seen sneak peeks of it. Whoa. But wait, I've got... Wait, why are you going to wait to show it to him? It's right outside the door. You guys want to see the uh, SS-127 right now? I mean, you think the Wi-Fi will reach out there? It might. If we lose them... Do you guys want to see that? the SS-127? What do you think of the Pelican Catch 120 NXT? So here's what I'll do. I'll wait until I see some comments popping up saying you guys want to see the uh, well, there they are. <laughs> SS 127. And uh, Here's the thing. I do not have an opinion on the Pelican Catch. I have asked Pelican a few times to um, send me one so I could evaluate it, and I will be able to give you a better opinion. I think it's a good-looking boat on the shelf, uh, but I haven't had a chance to test it out, so I can't. Uh, give you an opinion. It's got a good price point. Looks like it's well made. And uh, a buddy of ours from YouTube, a guy named Marty Zofinger, uses it and swears by it. And I've got no reason to believe that, you know, he would talk about something that's not. Um... So Trey37 said, Is the Jackson Cuda HD good? You get to use the Jackson Cuda HD. I used one. it in a Redfish trip last year. It was a little unstable for me, but you got to realize I have a lot of camera equipment that goes up above the center line, the center of gravity of a kayak. Mm -hmm. So I have to have a kayak that's a lot more stable. Um, so with my camera equipment up, my power pole up, me standing up, I almost fell out. Um, and, and I had to get I had to get rid of the power pole in order to make it work. Other than that, it's a fast boat. Um, it, it's perfect for going long distances and getting back home and things like that. Did you want to, so. did, which boat do you film from the most right now? The Mayfly. So he films from the Mayfly. You use the big rig a lot too, don't you? Not anymore. Oh, I got really? rid of it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So there you go, the Mayfly. All right. So did y'all want to see that SS-127 or not? There was a bunch of yeses. You didn't see it? Um, no. I saw like two. No, there were like 50. 50. There's Raymond Triplet. Okay. There's some yeses. Well, let's try it. We're going to walk outside and see if I can show you all the boat on YouTube Live. Thanks, Gene. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if this doesn't work, it's that guy's fault. But uh, here's the deal. The main reason for this video was we're going, we're announcing that we're announcing the 10 later tonight and that we're going to be back here in about a month. You guys stay tuned for details on how to sign up to come fish that event. It is going to be sick. You're basically getting to fish Bienville Plantation for two days for 200 bucks. And half of that goes into the pot, so it'll be a cool payout on top of that. And you meet the top 10 kayak bass fishermen in the country. Now I'm going to shut up. Well, I'm not going to shut up. I'm just going to show you the Well, you, Yeah, look at that. I will Here, be the this. cameraman. Hold, hold on a minute. Let me flip this. There we go. Ah. Here we go. All right, so we're going to start at the back. and Let's work. do it the other way. Sun's on the other side. Work forward. Okay. We'll start at the back and work forward. So as you can see here, it's got a power pole mount in the back. The cool thing about it is it's got a power pole mount on both sides as well. So you can put power pole on each side, a motor in the middle, power pole in the middle, power pole on each side. Then you got three options, uh, or you can just use this for camera pole space and you know things like that. I really like this grab handle in the back because it is bungeed to the secure position. I got my, my road flags on here right now, but uh, it's shaped like your hand. So when you carry it, it's comfortable. Double keel in the back, which is what gives this boat such superior stability. One of the things that's awesome about the rigability of the boat is there's access in the back. You don't have to drill a hole, you don't have to put a hatch in, it comes where all you gotta do is take these four screws off and you have access to the entire back of the boat. As you can see here, I've got mine with the black pack in it. The black pack comes with these, or the bungees come with these Omni clips, which just drop right in there, makes it easy to secure your gear, easy to stow it, and it's set up to, to fit the, back, the black pack perfectly and you still have room in the back to put more gear. This seat is pretty freaking awesome. They aptly named this tray the junk drawer because that's exactly what it becomes after you fish for a few days. You loosen that up, slide it out, and you just got all kinds of junk in here. I'll have to sort this out when I get back to the house, but it's a great way to just have all your stuff organized. Does it, does it drain? Yeah, it's got holes okay. in the corners. So all you gotta do is just loosen it up and slide it forward, and then slide it out when you wanna get to your stuff. So if you're a uh, 
if you're safe like me or Gene, where you got this thing in your way, then it makes it easier to reach down and find stuff underneath you. The seat goes from the high-low position. Real easy, I've got this little gear tie holding it down because I'm about to get on the road. What's cool about it is it's got this awesome paddle stager and rod stager on the side. As you can see, this fibrous look right here, that's because this is a prototype. Again, there's still a few prototype parts left on this boat because I just, I'm impatient. I had to have it. So I twisted their arm and they gave me a prototype hole with a few parts that still had to be stuck on here. Love this Yak Attack drink holder and like hooking my little hooks on there. It allows them to dry before I put them back in my tackle box. Uh, the cool thing about this seat is that's the low position that fits in there because this folds up, but that's a great rod stager, paddle stager. And there's just a whole bunch of little cool things like the fact that your foot pedals don't have those little clips on the back of them that always break off. They're actually infinitely adjustable. Again, these are 3D printed and they, they slide uh, uh, a little sticky, but when this thing is production ready, that thing will be smooth as a baby's butt and then you put that exactly where you want it. No more one peg hole is a little bit too far and one peg hole is a little bit too close. Now you can trim it out perfectly to how you want to use it. Tracks in the front, tracks in the middle, landing pad and a paddle retention strap at the front. This is one of the coolest features on this boat for me is these double take latches. That allows me to open up the hatch from the front and I can stow a buttload of gear in here. I've got a couple of tackle boxes. I've got my tackle web that goes on the back of my seat with my spare lures in it, a net, and I've got my power pole in there. But when you're in the kayak, if your hatch opens this way, it's next to impossible to get to it. So these double take latches work both ways. So you just pop these open and then you can get to it from inside the kayak as well. The strap goes both ways to hold it up. And if you need to clean it out, if you need to do some work and this hatch is getting in your way, you basically just pop these all off and then hang that off to the side or disconnect the string. And you got access to the inside and you can get the hatch completely out of your way. There will be a drop-in tray coming. And then I'm working on an accessory to go right here to organize some of your tackle in this empty dead space. So stay tuned for that. Really cool handle in the front, really easy to use. Um, I did a video the other day about how I set up my anchor wizard, but let me just show you this. I don't have my, uh, my little ball on here. Here, I can just grab it real quick. Basically, I use a downrigger ball because it punches into the mud, it punches into the grass, it holds this little keel, keeps it from spinning. So this looks like Batman's head from the top, but that little groove right there works out perfect for just raising that ball right up. And you can just wind it up and lock it in place and it's clean. What's cool about that is that's my one-two punch. Got my power pole in the back. So if the wind's blowing and I'm, or I'm in shallow water, I drop my power pole, position the nose where I want it, drop the anchor wizard, and it locks me in place. A lot like having two power poles. If I'm in deep water and I drop my anchor wizard, I still like to have my power pole on so I can put it down, which keeps the boat from drifting and swinging as much because that power pole uh, creates resistance in the water. The, like I said, this whole boat is just very well thought out. The performance is unreal. We were fishing with two guys in pedal boats and three guys in paddle boats. And we were about a mile and a half that way when we finished fishing the first morning. And we're coming back in for lunch. And I paddled ahead, fished, looked back and people would get close to me, paddled ahead and fished, and then decided to paddle back and probably could have made a sandwich before y'all made it back to the <laughs> bank, couldn't I? Yeah, so anyway, it paddles well. It's clean, it's unbelievably stable, it's quiet, no hole slap. Like everything as a fisherman, you say, I wish this was different. It is on the Bonafide SS-127 because it was designed by fishermen for fishermen. Nothing was done in a room in theory. It was all done with practical application. Uh, there's still little tweaks being made, like getting rid of some of this, these knots and things that can catch on to your fishing line. But the performance is unreal, the stability is unreal, but the uncompromised functionality and no cutting corners and things like that is what makes me really proud to be paddling this boat now. And I'm super proud and super excited to be the first person that got to paddle and fish and catch fish from the first production model. So stay tuned for a special announcement real soon. We're gonna do nine lakes this year, where if you catch the biggest bass on that lake, calling it the bonafide big bass bonafide big bass what's the base price if you catch a big bass on that lake the biggest bass that year is going to win one of these bonafide ss 127s awesome 15.99 for the ss 127 
$12.99 for the SS107, which is going to be the 10 foot 7 version of this, which is going to be the perfect stick it in the back of your truck, drop it in a river, stay mobile, jump in the water, go fishing. And if you don't got a lot of space, it's literally uncompromised features, uncompromised stability, and a small package. One of the first boats on the market to accomplish all of that without cutting corners and scaling down the features and all that good stuff. I'm stoked about this thing. I mean, if you, if you can't tell, it's like I got a new girlfriend that I want to tell everybody about. I've blown it up on my Instagram page. Um, you know, we're finished up here at uh, at Bienville, but I got to go to Atlanta tonight. I got to go back to Greenville tomorrow, and I'm already on my phone before we did this looking at places I can stop along the way to fish because I've been out of this boat now for like three and a half hours, and I'm itching to get back in it. So. Anyway, let's, let's go, go, let's go, go back inside about. and answer a few questions. And get to, look at them shad just busting on top. Oh, of them. Uh, shut up. We're going out. I don't even want to look at them. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, you guys start posting some questions. We'll answer. Let's put five minutes on the clock, and we'll do five minutes worth of questions, and then I got to get on the road. Yeah, so too. post your questions. Can you stand in the SS-107? Absolutely. SS stands for sit, stand, super stable, super sick. So if you couldn't stand in it, we wouldn't make it. All right, guys, we're going to set the tripod up, jump back on the couch, and y'all fire some questions out for Gene. No, this is not a love seat. Is it more stable than a new canoe or a Frontier? More stable is kind of a weird word. I would say it's as stable. It's got a little better performance. Paddle's a little better. Release date for the SS-127 is well, going to be February. One thing that I've noticed is, is in when you're looking at kayaks, wide, the wider the boat, the more stable it is, but also the slower it gets. So it's a give and take thing. Well, and he said, man, that it looks narrow. It looks narrow because it's a sleek design. It's actually 34 inches wide yep. and it's ridiculously stable. So yeah those, yeah, those pontoons are what changed the game. Back when I used to build all electric boats, yep. I always wished I could find a company that could build an aluminum uh, pontoon style small boat that I could turn into an, an electric boat because it would always He's, perform better and go he faster. He said, are you ready for OU? <laughs> <laughs> I know you want not talk to me. I know you want not talk to me. My team ain't even in it. So, <laughs> His team uh, can't find a, a coach. But when you start asking questions about like compared to another boat, those are hard questions to answer because what's great about those things is that there's choices for everybody. New Canoe makes a great boat. Matter of fact, almost all the leading manufacturers right now make great boats. Yeah. It's a matter of having the features that you want and knowing that you're not giving anything up to get it. Um, and that's why it's important to go borrow boats. So, or, you know, or yeah, and try them. Try before try you buy if you can. You can. So 22 pounds. Somebody said, how's the weight loss going? 22 pounds. I don't know about that guy. I'm at about I, 14. I think he's going to be in a bikini at the end of the year. You got to get you one of these things if you're trying to get fit. This thing right here keeps you accountable. And uh, I love it. So anyway, we got three minutes left. Ask yeah, your questions. Wait a he wears it when he uses a spinning reel. So this is a no. Step. <laughs> I don't use it when I use a spinning wheel. I'm, 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 I cast with my left hand reel with my right hand. So, and I don't use a spinning reel. So that's crap. I mean, except winter time or whatever. Um, when we're coming to Canada, let's make that happen, Gene. Yeah, let's, make let's that go to happen. Canada. Road trip. Uh, already right ordered now. the SS 127. Let me see what we got here. Do I need to wait for the SS-107? Honestly, I like a longer boat. I think that boat's going to have great stability. I'm, I'm ready for, you know, an even bigger boat. So you well, guys stay tuned for some awesome stuff to come. And it depends on how how much stuff they want to put in their boat, you know. How about a Seminole? I think you mean Seminar in the Northeast. Yeah, we can make that happen. Y'all stay tuned for the KBF seminar schedule for next year. We've got some interesting yeah, things we're planned. we're going to talk about that in the next few weeks. Do you have a list of add-ons you have on your SS-127? The way that boat was sitting right there, there's three add-ons on it. The Power Pole, the Anchor Wizard, and the Lowrance Step Finder. Everything else is stock. Except Actually, the Black Pack, the Black Pack and the uh, Yak Attack uh, Roto Grip is uh, not standard. Any tournaments coming to Missouri? Yes, they are. Check the KBF trail page. We'll have those up pretty soon. Did I catch a fish off my truck? No, but I did have one eat it, and I was t waiting for Gene to start the camera, and it spit it before I could set the hook. Yeah. So he had just finished the little Instagram thing, and then I should have just set the hook and caught it, but I did get, jump off the truck, walk down there, and catch about a five-pounder, two, three-pounders, and, a, and about it. a 15-pound bowfin. Yeah, bowfin. Uh, I know you have fished some net rivers, lakes. How about southwest Virginia? I love Southwest Virginia. In fact, I got a video coming up from there. 
So stay tuned from that for that. How do you do you use side imaging? I do, and necessary is a tough question, but if you want to get at very advanced with offshore fishing, structure fishing, and take your getting off the bank fishing to the next level, I think it's it's pretty critical. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. I mean yep. you can get away without it. It just makes it much more difficult. I'll tell you what I would say. Finding fish without structure scan is like if you threw a golf ball into the middle of a football field, right? And somebody handed you a toilet paper tube and you had a mask on and you could only look through the toilet paper tube and you could only look down and running around trying to find the golf ball. Where a structure scan would be more like you had one of those things that a dog puts around its neck to keep from licking itself and you could see all this and then you could just look out there and see the golf ball and run over there and pick it up. So to me, you know, people don't realize how small the it's cone is. It's a very is. interesting analogy. People don't realize how small the cone yeah. is on a oh, I know on a standard transducer and how little you are actually seeing. Yep. Come fish us in Virginia Beach. Yep, I'm coming to Virginia Beach very soon. Going to fish the Lynn Haven Inlet. I'm going to go to one of my old drag-in spots where my channel actually started in Virginia Beach. Let Gene know that the power station released for Tuesday on Kickstarter. Great live video, Chad. Oh, yeah, it's my YOLO. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll do that yeah, for sure. Christian, text me, remind me. I got, yeah, I got and send me one of them boxes, man. That thing looked pretty awesome. I, I had him any I had box envy last night. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> uh, looking to get into electronics. Where do I start? I would say don't, you know, buy your second. Don't buy your ultimate depth finder first. Buy your second electronics unit first. Don't buy the cheapest thing you can find. If you buy a cheap, 99 to 199 dollar depth finder you're going to want for some more features and so within yeah, a what, year you're going to buy always, what i always say is is buy one that's at least color at least has a gps and down imaging or whatever dsi it, yeah dsi yeah and that it, would be the minimum and then buy the largest screen that you can afford but save your money it's going to be four or five hundred bucks so save your money um, is the advanced integrated mount by Torquedo going to be able to be rapidly removed? It's going to be quick remove. I don't know about rapid, but it's going to be easy to remove and easy to reinstall. Can you do a Wounded Warriors tournament in Texas? We are working on that right now with Heroes on the Water, and I am in discussions rapidly. with those guys. Rapidly be removed means that you're under attack and you got to get <laughs> right. the crap off your uh, Would you go marlin fishing in a kayak? Yes, I would, and I am going to. I've caught a lot of tarpon, a lot of sharks, it's on his a list. lot of big fish like that, but I definitely wouldn't mind catching a marlin. Have you ever tried using a jig, a Jika rig, oh, or we a punch shot? I was using it all weekend. Yeah, we, Matter of fact, when I said I hooked a big one and lost it, that's what I, that's yeah, what I lost it We just talked about that this week. And uh, we did a seminar here at the shop. Yeah, half right, ounce, three quarter ounce night. if you can find them, and you can punch through grass really good with a Jika. Hey, guys, when are you coming to the West Coast? We're trying to set up our Idaho trip again. It got canceled this year, yeah. and then we'll be coming to the West Coast at the same time. And I already told my wife I'm doing a West Coast swing. Chad, are you coming to California in 2018? I'm absolutely coming to California in 2018. We're going to have a trail event out there, and we're going to have an open. Pike Diesel said, new KBF member from Maryland. Looking forward to a full year. Thanks, brother. Appreciate the support. Awesome. Man, if you guys have not joined KBF yet, head over to kayakbassfishing.com. Click on the shop tab. Join KBF. we got to get some promotion. It's actually starting right now. Uh, we're going to do some crazy giveaways. The first one's going to be a whole bunch of KBF swag. We're going to give away 12 prizes for the 12 days of kbf must. And then of those 12 winners, we're going to put them in a randomizer, and one of them is going to win a Yeti Flip 12. So how does that work? So basically, you join, uh -huh. and you get... Every quarter, you get four unique stickers. Unique stickers. Unique stickers. Okay, not, not you lick stickers. No, unique. Unique stickers. Okay. unique stickers. Those stickers are clear transfer on the front. So you're going to use them in like an identifier until you decide what to stick them on when that month is over. And I'm going to do random things. It's not going to all be fishing. It's going to be some like, hey, guys, head over to Waffle House. And the first person to post a picture of the KBF Christmas decal on a Waffle House menu is going to win a $25 KBF and gift And where are you going to do that off of? On, it's going to be on our Facebook page. On Facebook it's going to be page. our Instagram page. We're going to kind of do it all over the dang old place. Huh. It's going to be for KBF members, so it'll primarily be on the KBF members only page, and you guys will see, okay, then maybe I'll do Timmy Horton's there, Keenan Moore. Did you think about that? Like I said, <laughs> yeah. it's just going to be something like that, or Canadian Tire, for God's sakes. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to do really cool stuff. What's next to your ear? in the background 
and the green shoulder. Well, I know what it looks like. Oh my gosh. But that's a chair leg. <laughs> that's the top of a chair. <laughs> that's pretty funny. What are you looking for, man? Good Lord. Now I got to lean over like this, but that makes me a... Nah, anyway, so whatever. It's a chair leg. Here, look. See, it's a chair leg. There. Now we can settle that, but... Oh, that's hilarious. Should I say good eye? That's not really... <laughs> I, now it's glowing. Oh, good Lord. Let's just do this. Yeah, there we go. Nope, didn't work. Li- no, I'm a, I said it on purpose, just oh, okay. right in the edge of the screen. Mm-hmm. So for those who have already seen it, you can't unsee it. <laughs> All right. What the heck were we talking about? I have no clue. That was funny as crap. <laughs> it got me distracted with a chair leg thing. Love it when you catch those live streams. Keep doing what you're doing. No problem, man. Thanks, bro. You finally answered my question. Appreciate it. Anyway... Guys, we're going to jump off here. I got to get on the road. Me too. You guys go check out his channel and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're one of the people that hasn't, because pretty much everybody else has. Uh, on the water watching this on my yak boat. Guys, that's awesome, man. <laughs> so, anyway, go become a member. We got the Get Some promotion coming this year, which stands for Sticker of the Month exclusive. With that sticker, we're going to do some random stuff. I'm going to give him a sticker, tell him to go post a picture of it somewhere. The first thing we're going to give away is a Yeti flip. Go to my Instagram page. Tonight or tomorrow, I'm posting the picture of the sticker. When that sticker comes in the mail with your membership kit, we're going to start doing random giveaways with that sticker, which is only going to be from the time that you get the sticker up until Christmas. That's going to be a a 12 days of Christmas promotion, but I'm going to actually run it all the way to Christmas, give a bunch of stuff away. It's going to be cool. And then every month, we're going to have random giveaways where we're giving them away a minimum of $250 retail value worth of product to our members. And then we're going to do some random promotions where we just give random stuff away. We're going to do funny stuff. We're going to do challenges with it. We're going to do video challenges where you submit your videos with the decal in it. And then me and this guy and Christy and I and several other people that are on our panel will pick the best video. And then we might even do, what are you calling it this year, Gene? When we're just going to show up at somebody's house and go fishing? A drop in. A drop in. Or just may show up to your house because you posted a cool sticker picture. Knock on the door. Wake your butt up in the wake morning. Wake you up. And take you Put fishing. you in the truck and take you fishing. Um, random bona fide giveaway contest, huh? <laughs> no, you're going to have to win the bona fide because it's bona fide, man. You got to be bona fide to win that. So stay tuned for the top nine bass lakes in the country as per KBF, not some other random... Uh, organization and then if you catch the biggest bass all year long on those nine lakes you'll win a bona fide ss127 kayak of your own and we're going to have some associated prizes that goes along with that as well as monthly giveaways for the biggest bass of each month so keep a lookout for that like i said we got to get on the road thank you guys for taking some time out of your sunday turning the football off watching two fat guys talk about fishing yep and uh we're both getting less and less fat as we speak You're going to be seeing a lot less of us in 2018. Wow, that's weird. They're going to be seeing a lot less of us while they see a lot more of us. That's kind of... That's tacky. Whoa, dude. (laughs) That was really bad. I'm going to get t-shirts made to say less is more. Oh, I don't know. Or more of less. More or less. (laughs) Anyway. All right, guys. Y'all have a good day. Take Uh it easy. Love you. Don't forget to subscribe.